Allahu Barakatuh. So our lecture today is a thoracic anesthesia. So I mentioned here thoracic anesthesia part one because there is another part which is called part two. At the, and so we we separated two the lecture for two parts to make it easy and simple for you guys. So we're gonna move to the the outline. So our outline today, as usual, so preoperative evaluation, history, bronchopulmonary, investigation, ventilate, ventilation, perfusion, scenography, problem with COBD patient, and I mean COBD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease patient, and one lung ventilation. Let's move to the preoperative evaluation. Preoperative evaluation, most of the cases presenting for thoracic surgery have bronchocarcinoma. So, actually, because as the thoracic surgery he have had bronchial carcinoma. So, metastinal masses or esophageal disease. So, lesions of thoracic surgery and lesions of the thoracic anesthesia. You know, acupid lesion, acupid mass, acupid esophageal disease. In order to assist patient for thoracic anesthesia, it's necessary to have an understanding risk of a specific type of surgery. لازم نفهم إنه هذا العلم مال الثوراسيك أنيسيزيا it's one of the difficult things that we're gonna deal with and what the risk out there to deal with the type of the surgery. Respiratory complication in order to deal with thoracic, thoracic and respiratory in the same side, so which is the most the difficult one. راح تكون من العمليات الصعبة جدا thoracic أنيسيزيا and that's why I put it here for two parts. So, respiratory complications are the major cause of preoperative morbidity and mortality in thoracic surgery patients. The history we're going to take from the is detail of the history of smoking, symptom of suggestive chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, ischemic heart disease, and should be elicited to be clear. It should be clear and clear. History of chemotherapy, taking a pre-optional chemotherapy, and history of lethargic, weight loss, lethargic, and the disease of weight loss, and the disease of and anorexia. And the Fogdan Bishahir. El Bronco Balmanari. Shin el Bronco Balmanari. He aver an symptoms. Elitish mel cough with expectoration. Cough at the with expectoration. With with yan balam. Dysnea. The deep in nefes. Chest pain. So wujah bal sadr. And wheezing. So to leave you say we wheeze. Oh, shakhta or shakhra. Look for any metastasis and involvement of other symptoms. So paroplastic syndrome. Details medical history for any coexisting disease. If I go to a little bit of a physical examination, physical examination, high symptom, physical examination, inspection, palpitation, auscultation, and percussion. Inspection, look for respiratory rate in any of the accessory muscles, accessory muscles, palpitation, here a mediastinal shift, palpitation, inspection, معاينات, palpitation, here the lumbar, auscultation, what does it mean? Presence of any foreign sound like Rhinoe or creepy present in we lung air entry in each lung where percussion assess the overall severity of the chronic disease and the presence of the consolidation at Alexis or pleural effusion. Other may have a bronchopulmonary system may have the physical examination. An investigation lead in the Rahanda or Hana Rahanda or looks for any anemia and hemoglobin. Polycythemia, نسبة دم الوراثي أو leukocytosis. زين. The RBC look at liver, liver, renal, view of any metastasis on cardiothoracic things. Chest X-ray, tracheal division or obstruction. Tracheal division مرات يصير نتحرك بالتراكية. فندور على في ثراثي عن science of pleural fusion, pulmonary edema, telecystis and consolidation. See for any right or left side heart dysfunction. Highly investigation اللي دورها في ما يخص ال bronco edema. وما يخص الثراسيك أنستيزيا. signs of any ischemic change signs of or coronary artery disease. دور على signs and symptoms اللي هي علاقة يعني full investigation for whole body فيما يخص الكارديك فيما يخص الرينال فيما يخص الليفر and so on. sputum culture the sputum culture حتى سوف خاف عدة أثليفتس خاف عدة consolidation يعني سو زرع لل sputum مالت للبناء. so qualitative index of infection CT scan albumin 
سيتي سكان وتدور ايكو كارديوغرافي بيز لاين اي بي جي سو هاي التحاليل الموجوده هي فيما يخص المرضى مالتنا حتى نسوي نشيك الساين والسمتوم مالتهم في ضمن ضمن اطار الفول انفستيجيشن فور هول ثينجز ذات يو كان ابوب ان يور هيد Ventilating, ventilation, perfusion, sonography. So assess contribution of the part of the lung or lobe to be resected in ventilation and perfusion. Should be done in all patients posted for pneumoctomy and pre-op for its expiratory volume, diffusion capacity for the lung carbon monoxide. هذا فيما يخص perfusion. شو نسوي ventilation perfusion للlung بالطريقة الصحيحة. So enrich the oxygen, enrich the 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 blood, so that it can functioning throughout the the surgery. Problem with the COPD patient. The question is the problems that we face in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. This is present in the patient. Of course, this is done. It is done specifically for anesthesia. So respiratory drive, in stage two and stage three, neurological hypoxia, right ventricular dysfunction, and auto beat. And so on. The bubble, the knob, the موجودة. So هاي فيما يخص المشاكل اللي اللي تخص the problem with the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. One lung ventilation. This is the one of the important things. أنا يا guys إنه لازم تحطون خطين تحت هذا ال title اللي هو the one lung ventilation. How to ventilate one lung? And you you gonna you gonna work in the surgeon work in the other lung. Lung injury. So if you have a lung, you should work on lung itself. So one lung ventilation. So preoperative epidural catheter placement. That's the gold standard. The advantage: avoid use of IV narcotic, decrease requirement of the anesthetic agent for postoperative analgesia. The one lung ventilation. What? Shouldn't introduction the one lung ventilation. One lung ventilation means separation of the two lungs and each lung functioning independently by preparation of the airway. That's the word for one lung ventilation. One lung ventilation provides protection of the healthy lung from infected bleeding one. Could be there is there is a problem with the another one. So protection of the healthy lung from the infected the another one. Diversion of the ventilation from damaged airway or lung. Improved exposure of the surgical field. Should we will one lung ventilation cause more manipulation of airway, more damage, where significant physiological change. And easily development of hypoxia. How the whole suburb model, model lung significant physiological or more manipulation of the airway. How the so method of one lung ventilation. The whole double lumen and tracheal tube, double lumen and tracheal tube. How the tube has one double lumen to signal lumen and tracheal tube with bullet in the bronchial blocker. How the inverted tube with single lumen and tracheal tube with isolated bronchial block. Remember, remember. We use left tube if the surgeon on the right, and we use the right tube if the surgeon on the left. So the opposite side. If the عملية باليسرى نستخدم التوب باليمنى وإذا العملية باليمنى نستخدم التوب باليسرى حتى نسوي ventilation to the lung and off the infected of the injury lung. However, in a clinical practice, a left side tube is used almost in all cases except if there is side tube obstruction left mainstream bronchus. So we use the tube that is that is Remember, in the, the the right side to the right side, with the left side. So use the right side tube if the surgery on the left side. Believe it, something you believe it, something you believe it. Wow, that's it. That's that's all we have today. So I I put the slide here to mention what message you take home. So a message you take home, and you should guys understand properly. In every single session, you have to take message home. And already said. What the useful or benefit point that you get from this lecture? Okay, we'll see you in the next part. Listening at this time, if there is any question, and please don't hesitate to contact me thoroughly. Thank you. In the next part, thoracic anesthesia, part two. Thank you.